Let's welcome Esther Lee and Xiaoming Yu from Mary Noel Convent School. They are presenting to us Lava Buster today. Acid-based reactions during chemistry classes, we thought it would be a great idea to include this reaction in our experiment since we have already acquired the chemistry knowledge on neutralization. Moreover, the neutralization experiments are simple yet interesting, thereby appealing to kids aged 10 to 12. On top of that, I am also a geography student, and we are currently studying about volcanoes. One day, when me and Charming were putting forward our ideas together, inspiration suddenly pops up in our mind. That's when we decided to combine both ideas together. In the end, we came up with the idea of the lava burster, including both elements of acid-base reactions and the volcanic eruption. And so we were thinking, what's an experiment without a few reactions? Kids like new exciting items, and our lava burster is just a fun playtime material they need. So how do we make it work to resemble an erupting volcano? Let's start with the fundamentals the materials we used. They can all be reached quite easily. The, bake, the baking, we bought the baking soda and orange with coloring from the supermarket. And the solid citric acid is obtained from a Swiss laboratory. But of course, citric acid can always be found in citric fruits, such as lemon juice. Now, let's get into the explanation of our experiments. Before the experiments, we wrote out the chemical equation and calculated the ratio of citric acid to baking soda in order to allow them to re react completely with each other. According to the equation, the ratio of citric acid to baking soda is 1 to 3. After that, we weigh 10 grams of citric acid and 30 grams of baking soda on an electronic balance. Then, then we add them into a plastic bottle, followed by orange food coloring. After that, we stir the mixture before adding the water. This is to ensure that it is mixed thoroughly. As a result, neutralization occurs between an aqueous citric acid and baking soda. The carbon dioxide gas given out causes the occurrence of effervescence, which makes the mixture overflow. Furthermore, the orange wood coloring resembles the overflowing lava out from a volcano, thereby enhancing the effect of the volcanic eruption. Now, you may wonder, why is there no reaction before water is added in? In fact, Dry solid citric acid does not contain mobile ions and does not show acidic properties. Therefore, it does not react with baking soda without water. However, when water is added in, the citric acid dissociates to form mobile hydrogen ions. The mobile hydrogen ions are then able to react with the hydrogen carbonate ions in the baking soda. Although we only perform this on a small scale, we believe it is extremely feasible if a larger model shall be built. Gypsum can be used to create the outer shell of a volcano, as it provides a solid but smooth surface for applying colors to make the volcano more realistic. It will be gray in color. Moreover, it does not react with the mixture. A plastic bottle, cut horizontally in half, as shown in the slide, will contain the reaction mixture and put within the crater. In order to avoid a huge mess, we decided to put a plastic tray underneath the volcano so as to ease the problem of overflowing lava. The experiment would then be practically similar to the one mentioned, adding water from the mouth of the volcano, and voila, the volcanic eruption. While designing the experiment, we had several considerations. First of all, the reason why we used citric acid and baking soda is because they are both a weak acid and a weak base. Weak acid and weak base reactions are less vigorous than strong ones, thus easing the, the splashing of chemicals. Moreover, they also generate less heat, so this can prevent scorching of the skin. Yes, and as fun and harmless as it sounds, we do recommend some basic safety precautions while performing the experiments. One, wear safety gloves as it may cause irritant skin after touching the chemicals. And two, wear safety goggles to protect our eyes as the chemicals may splash out from the volcano. In this way, the safety of kids can be ensured, 
as the chemicals used are harmful to the skin. Let's not forget that the experiment is not merely for entertainment, but it is also educational. We want, sorry. Through the lava burster, we hope that kids will be able to grasp the idea of the theory of visualization, as well as the volcanic eruption is due to the gas bubbles created from the reaction. But most important of all, as the lava burster features the theme of food, we want to let kids know that common things around us can be related to science. Just like our experiments, all of our materials can be easily obtained from our everyday life. We hope to arouse kids' interest in the science aspect and stimulate their incentive to learn more about the scientific world. To wrap it up, this is definitely a fun, refreshing experience for both of us, and we sincerely hope that our experiment will appeal to the younger generation to approach and engage in love science. Thank, Thank you. you. BASF. We create chemistry.